<laughs> Meanwhile, Muncie, Pennsylvania, March 31st, 2015. And it is snowing like crazy out here. Big flakes, very, very, very wet. Not the typical spring that we have this time of year. Hello there, everybody. This is Brian Hatz with Triton Voyages. Um, this is just a really quick update. Um, I've been doing a lot of takes on this video uh, passage uh, over the last month because it's really a complicated situation to be in. Um, but I figure I'm just going to kind of do like little quick updates to uh, kind of bring you up to speed a little bit at a time rather than just, you know, giving you a whole barrage of information all at once. Um, if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you know that the boat uh, beached on January the 18th and I had sent a letter to the Port of Allen, certified mail, with a claim that I was making against the port to try and make myself whole because I've incurred about $6,500 for the damages in the process. Um, so anyway, uh, the whole uh, case is still under investigation. This is April the 1st. It's been more than 60 days. Um, I've been in touch with the insurance commissioner and uh, for the state of Washington and the state attorney general's office. Um, I feel that I'm kind of getting jerked around a little bit by both the port and uh, Endurance, which is the insurance pool that's uh, covering the port. Um, I just found out recently that the guy hasn't been uh, interviewing any of my witnesses. Um, they did a an inspection of the dock two months after the fact saying that they couldn't find any dry rot and they're just kind of giving me the run around so um, and then he, the guy turns around and tells me things that he thinks that he that I want to hear and that's going to somehow you know negate any kind of other stuff that might not you know look like it's on the up and up I guess the best way to say this is that um, Maybe he thinks that if he kind of snow jobs me a little bit that I'll just eventually just give up and just not pursue it anymore. But um, I'm, I'm going to start getting official channels involved in it because I, I just don't see this uh, ending well. Uh, there's a lot of flip-flopping back and forth for a while. Uh, Larry Coppola is now the new uh, executive director for the Port of Allen. He is the former mayor of Port Orchard. Um, I've spoken with a few attorneys about what's been going on and as soon as I mention this man's name I, I get like rolls of eyes of disdain and sighs over the phone you can hear all this happening it's just that's how much disdain some people have for this man um, I used to own a business in Port Orchard so I kinda know a little bit about what people think about him I mean I've never met him personally I don't know him from a hole in the ground personally but um, I just know that it depended on what side of the financial circle or, or offense uh, you stood is basically how you felt about <laughs> Larry so you know it is typical politics I think but um, Port of Allen has been known to do some pretty crazy things over the years and when the Port Orchard Independent is interviewing them and, and about this new appointment that happened as of January the 14th um, you know, the, it, it just seems like they're always saying the same kind of song and dance that they said it several years ago. Oh, we we see a bright future for the port. We're going to develop this, and we're going to make things for the better. And you know, just well, it's just lip service. So it's still the same old port, still the same old facilities, still the same old crap as before, still the same remote location as ever, <laughs> with the same kind of crappy security that they've had ever since the beginning of time, since like 1921 apparently. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, right now, as it stands, uh, I, I, I'm hoping to have an actual answer one way or the other by the end of the week. Um, I will be flying to Seattle next week on uh, the 8th. So, I'll hopefully be back on board the boat. I, I plan on making my way there as soon as possible so I can see what the heck's going on. Uh, get the last bit of equipment that I have with uh, Kim 
and her family, they've been watching it for me. Uh, they're the ones who were babysitting my boat, and they've never been contacted by the guy uh, who's doing the uh, claims adjustment for this. So, But I've been in touch with her today, and she gave me her email so that I could make sure that uh, this uh, claims adjuster is able to reach them. If you want to know more details about the thick of everything, you can go to my campernicholson33.blogspot.com and it'll be uh, the uh, April 1st uh, uh, entry called uh, Drama on the High Seas Part 2 and uh, it describes all of the things that's been going on last month. So until next time, thank you for watching the Triton Voyages. Uh, hopefully next time I post anything on this YouTube channel, I'll be on board and I'll be able to, I, I plan on taking video as I open up the, the causeway and enter the boat for the first time since anyone's been on board it in January the 18th. So it should be an interesting experience. <laughs> so uh, until next time, thank you for watching, fair winds and following seas.